recent FIFA Ballon d'Or ceremony brought the biggest names in the world game to Zurich. One of those gracing the red carpet was Nadine Angerer, Germany's goalkeeper. And for her outstanding performances in the European Championship, she was pronounced the best woman footballer in the world for 2013. It's certainly a huge honour for me, but the way I look at it is that a goalkeeper is part of a team. The position of a goalkeeper is always important. It can determine whether you win or lose. And so for that reason, I think it's justified that there's a bit more focus on goalkeepers. She's the first goalkeeper to be so honoured in the women's game, a perfect reward for a career that's lasted nearly two decades and seen her capped almost 130 times by Germany. She's won two FIFA World Cups and five European Championships, as well as domestic honours with Potsdam and Frankfurt. Anger is now captain, very much the senior player, and the former tearaway is very aware of her responsibilities. Of course things have changed. I used to be quite a chaotic person. I still am, to be honest. But I definitely have a lot of responsibility now. I'm captain of the team, and part of your role is to take the pressure off the other players. You need to be there and to lead the team, not just on the pitch, but off it as well. And of course, I've developed a great deal over the last 17 years, and not just in terms of my appearance. I've accumulated a lot of experience over the last 17 years, and I tried to pass it on to the younger players. Angra has a reputation as a penalty specialist, saving two in the European Championship final and this one from Marta in their 2007 FIFA World Cup final win over Brazil. Despite her heroics, the standard of goalkeeping in women's football has often been criticised, even as the skill and athleticism of outfield players has drawn increasing praise. Does she think that the quality of women custodians has started to improve? You have to acknowledge that goalkeeping has often been seen as a weak part of the women's game. It's often seemed to be the case that many teams don't have a particularly good goalkeeper. But I have to say that I found the performances of goalkeepers at last year's European Championship to be very good indeed. It's come on a lot. In the past, the focus was often put on outfield players, and goalkeepers were sort of peripheral figures. But it's now been recognised that the position of a goalkeeper is very important, and a lot of projects have started to provide better training for keepers. As for my game, I've also made progress, especially since 2007, when I first started working with Michael Fuchs. I've refined my game and it's been continually improving. As well as continuously improving her game, Nadine Anger has become something of a globetrotter. She'll be playing for Portland Thorns in America's NWSL this summer. But last year, she made an even bigger trip, leaving Germany's competitive Bundesliga after almost two decades and well over 200 matches to spend some time in Australia's W League. So, what was that like? I had no idea how strong the league was going to be before I went, or how weak it might be for that matter. I knew very little about the standard, but I was pleasantly surprised. After the first two weeks, I knew that it had been very much the correct decision to go to Brisbane, because the league is very good out there. People think you go there at the end of your career, when you're pretty much a pensioner. But that's really not true. That league has definitely proven itself, so it was the right decision to make the move. And the weather was very different. I'd very rarely played in temperatures of 39 or 40 degrees before. Women's football is still a relatively young form of the game, and most girls are keen on playing in the outfield. So what might the winner of the 2013 FIFA Ballon d'Or say to encourage them to put on the gloves? I'll tell them it's a good job. You can play in goal and you can get all the way to Zurich as a goalkeeper. It's just a very responsible job.